Virgo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a message for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising sign. It's an energy reading, so even if you're not a Virgo birthday and you're called to this message, it's yours. It arrives to you at just the right time, and this is where your message begins. Take a leap of faith, Virgo. That's what you're being called to do, and it's one of the hardest things to do. But you see, this is the energy of three, three plus 30, three plus zero adds up to three. That's holy trinity. That's divine balance. There's always that central pillar between the scales. That's where design, divine balance happens. And faith is your access or your ticket to it. There's a sense of you haven't been here before. You don't know where this is going. But this is God testing you in the deepest way because you're being asked to go down a road that there's no way you can plan. And when you go down a road that there's no way that you can plan, you have to create it. You have to imagine it. You don't, plans are made based on experience, but you don't have experience here. That's okay. That's where you grow and that's where you build. This is redefining everything about who you are. You're also, however, being given the blessing of this message to say, this is worth having faith in. Take a leap of faith. Ah, not just in this situation. We're not asking you to take a leap of faith in this situation. We're asking you to take a leap of faith in yourself that you can handle the situation ahead. And you can. You are being guided to say. You are being guided to go ahead and leap. So let's understand this situation a little bit better. Let's understand what you're being asked better. Remember that as I divide the deck, Virgo, there are going to be cards that fall out. That's awesome. Let I'm going to leave them where they are because that's part of the message. If you're looking for a personal message, I provide those please go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book and schedule at your earliest convenience, and um, you'll have your message within 24 hours. I know you guys need the messages quickly, and I get them to you as quickly as possible. Virgo, 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 Virgo. What else do you need to tell Virgo? Take a leap of faith. Thank you so much, guys. If you're just finding this channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content, Virgo content comes out on the weekends usually, but as well so that you know when I go live because I do go live. And I do free public tarot card readings, so if you'd like to participate in those, then please remember to subscribe to the channel. And you can find me on other social media platforms too. I go live on those all the time. Virgo. Why are we being told to take a leap of faith? What's going on? And where are we headed? Okay. What you had before isn't half of what you're capable of having. And it's not, it's not about ambition that you move forward. It's about growth. 
Okay, so the miracles are endless. This is in the past. This is a sense that maybe things were cozy. Maybe things were comfortable. Maybe things reached a point where you didn't want to ask for anything else. Or you didn't need to ask it for anything else. Or you thought this is as good as it's going to get. Well, it wasn't the case. Be fearless and bold. What it did was it made you complacent. And complacency is the death of progress. And that's what was going on. We had this sense of... I don't want to tip the scales. I don't want to, you found a comfort zone and that's good. That's, that's an edu that's a, that's a lesson in yourself as well. But th this is in the past. This is a sense of something had stopped and, and maybe, maybe it was a time in your life where you specifically said, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to, I don't want to rock this boat for a reason because you were content. You had what you needed. Why this is being highlighted is that now's a time for growth now's a time for enabling space by taking this leap of faith because there's something it's almost like you have to take this leap of faith that you're you're at a point right now where that's what you need to do or things are going to and this isn't I'm not trying to be threatening but things are going to stop feeling as contented as they were there there's something's going to shake you up and then we have watch and wait and it's interesting that it's in the future so you don't really know where we're headed in the future there's a sense of learning to under, learning to be patient, which is difficult. But this is also Piscean energy, which means this leap of faith is requiring you to now get into a mindset of something completely different or outside of yourself, completely opposite than the way that you would normally think of things or the way that you would normally engage with things. Then we have this Piscean energy that says, I believe it, therefore I see it. I know this can be real. But there's something here that you're waiting for. There's something here that you don't know. But the universe is, ask, is begging for your patience on it, right? And also saying, I don't know, are you waiting for something that won't come because the actions weren't taken in the past? Take a leap of faith that it's all going to be there for you when you need it. Okay. Let's understand, first of all, what are we, want, what are we waiting for? Oh, you're waiting for the tide to turn. Okay, there is an expectation that something that you thought was not capable of moving is absolutely capable of moving. There's a sense of contentment in maybe not knowing or, in other words, something fulfilling. There's a, there's a fulfillment here in finally being able to move a situation that had stagnated. Um, you're going to get the resources that you need. You'll find that things come when you need them, but that's, that's frustrating, right? Because it's like, maybe I don't have it right now to plan ahead, and, and yet the universe is asking, but move ahead, even before you can plan ahead, because things are going to come to you as you move, because this is an exercise in faith, which is teaching you and giving you a whole different, developing a whole different side of your character. I don't know why this energy is coming out now, but it is. Be aware of that. So that you're not so afraid to move in this very different way. Because Virgos like to plan 100%. Like to plan their calendar out to six months. Like they like to know what's going to happen. What the universe is saying is you're not going to know what's going to happen. And until you move, you're not going to have the resources to move again. So you really are being placed in a situation now for the next week, next couple of weeks. That's asking you to walk on shaky ground and not know. But that's where you're supposed to be. Know, and by this message, be content in knowing that that's exactly how it's supposed to feel. Let's see where we're headed. I'm going to draw the seventh day cards first. We're going to get the play-by-play, -play, okay? Okay. It's headed in the direction, listen. I think you want this moving in, in this direction. I think you, you're you not even sure right now. 
Um, that's okay. Maybe there's conflict right now. It's okay. Let's see day one. Day one. Or in the beginning, we have resources. We have our house. We have our home. We have what we need. We have a good job. We have regu regulation. We have something solid, something reliable. So why would we move away from it? <laughs> We have maybe everything that we've ever wanted. So why would we why would we move away from our comfort zone? Right? It's almost like it doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of value here. But see, this is this is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups moves in faith. He's almost like Galahad. If you know that famous image of Galahad um, um, following the Holy Grail, like out in front of him. He, he actually didn't hold it like the Knight of Cups is. He just knew it existed even though he didn't have any proof of it. It was, it's the quintessential metaphor for the journey of faith. And so that's what it is. It's the journey of faith into knowing that there's something more solid up ahead. Virgo, you can be content to know that there is happiness up ahead ahead the problem is you've got to get there it's almost like it's almost like okay but why do i leave where i know i'm you gotta you gotta go you gotta go where's two where's day two this is that fear energy fear your mind working against you you're worrying you like crazy maybe even lots of criticism or heavy doubt um, somebody talking in your fear, like talk, somebody talking in your ear, saying it can't happen, being really worried, all these doubts, all these restrictions, they're stealing your thunder. They're there to, they're there to take away from you. It's almost like a distraction. It's almost like your brain could be just very distracted with all the crap that's being pulled from you or taken from you or feeling like I'm giving too much, feeling like, you know, so there's, there's, let's put it this way, day two or step two, this is revealing that there's a lot of reasons to turn back. There's a lot of reasons to, there's a lot of good reasons to stall, be stuck, stay, don't move, you know, don't ask, don't demand. Um... This could be obligations. This could be also somebody giving you really bad news. It has to do with law, authority figures, uh, stealing your thunder, but it's only in the beginning of the week. You may, be, you may have even invested a lot of money into a situation where, you know, or a lot of time into a situation where um, now you think, oh, it's hopeless. This is only the beginning of the week. So let's see where we go from here. And this is why I think the universe is saying, you no, keep pushing forward eat through this. What is day three? We have the strength card here, looking that fear in the mouth, looking the primal in the mouth, being brave enough to look those aspects of yourself in the mouth that are unruly. It's like, it's like getting your shit together. And once again, being able to understand that something is still in deliberation. Then we have that scorpionic energy, which is maybe a decision or a judgment being made, um, allowing something to end, allowing, allowing a sense of indecisiveness to end, allowing a sense of, um, what, okay, what, let me just get clarity. Why is the death card here? For more strength. Something, something happened. Something happened that maybe you don't want to look at or don't want to see. And that's what you're being called to see. You're being called to look at what makes you most fearful. You're being called to look at the toxicity. And you're, you're, you're asking why. Why do I even want to see that? Because it's necessary and essential for you to understand which cup holds the poison. And if you don't look at it and you don't see it and you don't understand it, then you're bound to drink it. Okay. Okay. What about day four? Or step four, however you want to look at this. Step four for Virgo. It's so almost like maybe on day three, you're having the strength to allow something to just be over, right? 
Uh, day four is victory and success over something that you've been waiting on. And this could have been over the past couple of weeks, past four weeks, especially. Um, there's some sort of resolution that comes tying up loose ends, reconciliation, forgiveness, being able to relax for a bit because you pull through with some sort of success or some sort of happy news or good news. Um, could be public recognition. This is just that sense of like by toward midweek, getting that almost um, support that comes through that says, oh, you're doing good by keeping on moving forward. Um, something that you waited on, it was a good choice. Remember, patience, watch and wait. <laughs> Okay, it was good that you gave it that space. It was good that you didn't give up, but you held space for it. Okay, what about day five? We have the eight of pentacles, which is job well done. Job well done. And something coming to you or some sort of inspiration. It's like you'll get your energy back more toward the end of the week around day five this sense of whatever you chipped away at now you have the resources to take action and actually take the step forward all of this was the step forward but this is where you can actually let your passion guide you or realize that there has been some breakthrough or some movement that it's like something that you worked to make happen actually comes through by that fifth day you're actually able to move on it I just heard good news come through and then day six we have the five of cups here that's disappointment from the past don't cry over spilt milk um this is maybe an offer that wasn't received or something that didn't wasn't able to come through um maybe something new isolated left behind um This is the day to take action, five. And then we have the five of cups. And the page of cups, but it's... This is, this is frustration. Because you feel you've been left out of something. But it's something from the past. This sense of feeling like... It's almost a realization that you were left behind or left out of something or denied something that could have been really lovely from the past. This sense of sort of being done. Being done with what, though? Being done with what? This is a, this is a, this is a rocky week. I have to say, this is like a, this is a lot of up and down for you. Um, Ten of Wands and Four of Swords. Something that you carried long enough. Something that you, you were done with. Maybe because you didn't want to be alone or you were scared. This is something like, I took on too much responsibility or something's been weighing on me really heavy um, that I needed a break from. It's, it's, a, it's like, it's almost like it's about time that you saw it for what it was. And you recognized what it's going to be. And it's almost like, okay, I accept that now even if it means I have to end this or I have to move forward in a different direction. And there's no like, it's almost like it's, it's in some ways relieving, like it's relief as opposed, because I don't want you to think that this is all of a sudden just a horrible day. No, I, I don't think it is. I think this is rectifying and solving or being able to resolve 
the burden, some sort of burden on your on your back that you felt like you were denied or with something that you felt you were starved from or something that was kept from you, actually getting the opportunity to be okay with it or find resolve with it. Okay, hold on. Let's get a moon card before we get to day seven to see what happens to resolve this week, this energy. Virgo. Virgo. What do you need to release? There's something here that is is, is needing to be let go of. I think maybe you tried really, really hard with something. Have faith in your dreams. It's almost like you tried really, really hard with something. But it's been weighing you down too much. This sense of relax, let it go, ease up a little bit. Right? You're distracting yourself. I just heard this. Sometimes you got to step back and ask yourself, why am I working so hard? Not that hard work is bad, but that sometimes we work excessively to escape what we don't want to look at or see or don't want to address. And this is when you finally are able to address it and accept it is what it is. This is what it is and understand that it's too much of a shit show or it's too heavy. Um, and this is where you come into acceptance of this is how I get it out of my way and have faith in your dreams that, you know what, there is something on the other side of this. You don't have to, you don't have to settle. Let's get into our angel message and go to the extended and finish out this seventh day. I love you guys so much. The link is down below. I've also pinned it to the comment section. I'll see you over on Vimeo.